This is a product video for TechRap's Aurora White wrapping film, and here are the details. Product number DCH02G, film type multi-layer polymeric calendar, liner, craft white, roll length, 18 meters, roll width, 152 centimeters, gloss or white finish, thickness, 6 millimeters, adhesive, solvent polyacrylate, uses, OEM paint. The box comes with extra protection on corners, and the end of the box has valuable production information including lot number and color swatch. Each roll has a sticker and a lot number in the core tube. As a clear protective layer, this should be removed before install. The unique gloss finish is due to the multi-layered structure which also makes it directional. The best way to ensure that it goes in the right direction is to make sure that the logo on the liner is the same as the next panel. The adhesive is white and comes with Aerogress technology. The wrap film has moderate slidability and fully adheres to the surface once it's squeegeed. Use a new buffer to help minimize scratches and squeegee in overlapping strokes. If bubbles do occur, moderate sized ones can be pushed out with a finger or palm. If wrinkles occur, the film can be picked back up and heated gently. However, because of the multi-layers, wrinkles make them separate, so they still can be seen after heating, so they should be avoided during install. When the film gets heated and pulled too much, the color and hue will shift slightly. Instead of using a new piece, the film can be picked up and heat applied. This will make itself heal. Standard relief cuts can be made with no risk of it running into the live wrap area, and here are the prep details. Workspace temperature between 15 and 25 Celsius, always measure and cut down the panels ahead of time. Do the hardware removals first, then a general clean on the main surface area, followed by a degrease, and standard insulation tools apply. To minimize waste and increase install workflow, it's best to measure and cut down the material beforehand on a cutting table. Be sure to cut, roll, and label each panel correctly. For prep on the vehicle, after hard removals, use an air compressor to blow out the dirt. Then, clean, clay bar, and degrease the vehicle. Place a special focus on edges and areas that won't be wrapped, like front windows. For large panels like on the hood, prep the hinge area by cutting away the backing paper with a backing paper cutter. Also, secure a wrapping pole to one side. This will allow one installer to comfortably work by themselves. Before placing the panel on the surface, always go over it with a tack cloth, then set the panel in position. Once set, Make a permanent hinge with a squeegee stroke. Remove any excess film with the liner on to use for mirrors or door handles. Remove the clear liner, pull the backing paper halfway, then squeegee in overlapping squeegee strokes. Keep the material off the surface and use a 45 degree angle. The surface can be sprayed with a glide solution to keep scratches to zero. The glide solution can help speed up the squeegee process as well. If wrinkles appear, heat the area thoroughly, then gently pull the film flat and continue squeegeeing straight to the edge. Repeat the exact same process for the other half in order to get the same results. With the film on the main surface, it's time to cut away the excess film. Run a finger first on all edges to uniformly set it up, then go around the edges with heat to relax it. This is because it's a multi-layered calendar film. Once the film is fully relaxed on the edges, cold pre-stretch the corners. By hooking the film to the corners, then shrinking them with heat, there'll be no wrinkles or lifting over time. For sections like the hood with empty edges, Using a smooth 360 degree cutout process can help create high quality and lower install times. The key is to angle the blade away from the edge to ensure that enough wrap film covers and holds. Use the free hand to pull the excess film in order to get the right tension and ensure straight cuts. Once cut away, always go around the edges again with heat and seal for durability. For bumpers, always place the car on ramps or lift. Use cutting tape on tricky areas where there is molding between the gaps. And for compound curves, wrap them in sections as opposed to one piece. Install the piece that will have the most stretch and work on the flat first. Heat to form the film around the curve, then use cutting tape to remove the excess film if it's a direct cut on paint. Tuck the film behind the rubber for optimal coverage and hold. And when setting up the next piece, make the overlap 1 8 of an inch or 3 to 5 millimeters wide. Lower the surface energy of raised objects with masking tape, then install the next piece. When the film starts to bunch up, Use relief cuts over heat when possible to avoid overstretching. Once set, cut away all the excess film on all sides and be sure to seal the overlap extra tight. If the two sections are wrapped correctly, they will look seamless and have a good long-term hold. For bumpers, it's a good idea to use pre-mask on vents and open areas. Wheel well covers can safely and quickly keep dirt down. When sectioning up a bumper, in most cases, front and back bumper can be cut out of one large panel off the roll. Cutting tape can be used to avoid taking hardware off, in this case, the front light, 
which is always tricky. Also for hard areas, plan the cutting tape ahead of time to ensure that the film isn't overstretched. For bumpers, it's critical to wrap in multiple pieces to ensure durability. Once set, remove the excess film with the liner on, then work as a team on bumpers, generally using two to three installers. Heat the film in stages, then use the triangle technique to even out the film on curves. Working in sections will help keep the stretch under 10%, which is key for multi-layered calendar films. Keep in mind that when stretching the film, the air egress feature will be compromised on certain areas. This means that the air needs to be released. Keep the bubbles as flat as possible, and in some circumstances, heat can be added to soften the film as the air escapes. This can help avoid the bubble turning into a wrinkle. For all deep recessed areas, the key is to feed the film in when possible. Scene in sections will allow the installer to make smart relief cuts in order to continue to relax the film into the deepest part of the recessed area. For wheel wells, the key is to use a combination of heat and feeding to keep the stretch down to a minimum. Heating before each stage is critical. For lights, tuck the film into the base to avoid overstretching. Once set, use the cutting tape to remove the excess film. When pulling away the cutting tape, the wrap film will be tucked under the light for full coverage. For areas where the grill is, cut on the molding side, which is called the empty side. Then form the wrap film onto the solid side, which is the bumper. Use a micro squeegee to seal this area. Once the main piece is on, place cutting tape again with the overlaps at the right width and not too far under the bumper. The panel that is going on top has less tension than the first panel, so technically it will hold the overlap better. It also is easy and quick to install. For the underside, half an inch to one centimeter is enough to create quality and avoid overwrapping. Cut away the excess film with a cutting tape and be sure that the green tape is fully removed. Seal the overlap with a squeegee or finger, then put edge seal tape on the underside, which will help seal and hold. Proceed all edges at 210 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees Celsius. Cover all edges and recessed areas. This is a critical step and has to be done in order to ensure that the film doesn't shrink. For trunks that have a lot of curves and recessed areas, wrapping these in two pieces with the overlap hidden behind hardware when possible is key. Using two installers and starting on the body line is very important. Using heat and the triangle technique, especially pulling in four triangle shapes to each corner, will help flatten the film out and reduce tension. Once the film is glass, squeegee from side to side. Because the film was stretched, use heat to shrink it back onto the corners before cutting. Once relaxed, cut all corners first roughly one inch or two to three centimeters on each side. This will help avoid any wrinkles on the corners and it'll make them look like paint. Like the front bumper, install the panel that has the most stretch first so the second panel holds the section with the most stretch. Set up the overlap piece with cutting tape to make it extra safe, then install the second panel by starting off in the recessed area first and working out to the top and bottom. This is called the inside out technique or stressless. It helps avoid any lifting in these areas. Even still, this area should be post-seated at the end of the day to make it extra safe for durability. With the second panel installed, secure the overlap with a finger or squeegee, and be sure to wrap just enough under the lights and hardware. This will help avoid overwrapping and high install times. Reinstall all the hardware and the overlap, in this case, disappears behind the hardware so it looks like the trunk was wrapped in one piece. Wipe down off any handprints on the hardware and the wrap film and move on to the next section. Remove any wheel well covers before taking the vehicle off the ramps when reposition it for the next panel. Set up cutting tape to neutralize hardware and avoid edges that can be easily cut with a knife. Remove the entire liner and install as normal. Once set, remove the cutting tape on the side to ensure a safe wraparound. For the top by the molding, it's a four step process. Remove the excess film with the cutting tape. Then, tuck it into the gap with the squeegee. Cut away the excess film using a sharp blade and a light touch, then finish it with a micro squeegee for a tight seal and full coverage. For moderate recessed areas, like on door handles, heat and an application glove can be used to safely form it in. Work from side to side so the air can escape safely. For door handles and mirrors, they can be wrapped on or off the body. It's best to warm the film first before placing it on and start on the hardest part first. Also, always be sure to wrap these areas in two to three pieces. In this case, the back piece is placed on second as it has no tension, which means it holds the first panel in place. Also, since the wrap film is directional, make sure the pieces on the door handle match the direction on the body in order to get a professional result and avoid costly redos. 
seating the entire handle is critical to ensure hold as well as all the edges, top and bottom, left and right, and especially on areas where the film was fed into gaps. And now here is the removal information. Use any type of heat. Removal should be done within two years and only five to 15% adhesive residue behind. When removing the wrap film, propane torches, heat guns, higher heaters, or the sun can be used to soften the film. Be sure to remove the wrap film within two years, otherwise the adhesive may start to become permanent. And if adhesive residue is left behind, use dedicated adhesive removers to clean the paint. For more information on this wrap film, you can go to this link, or for social media outlets, you can go to TechRap on Facebook or Instagram. And for more information on TechRap, you can click on this URL. This has been a product video for TechRap's Aurora White wrapping film. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.